Thank you very much, Rong. And uh, I would like to thank you know, all the organizers for the invitation. Uh, I'm happy to give a talk here. Uh, in fact, uh, I have uh, already make the same talk several times in other places in China. So it could be a repetition for some students and colleagues. I'm sorry for that. OK, so the talk is uh, about uh, a hardy relation qualities. Oh, now I cannot move. <laughs> oh, it works. Okay, the hardy inequality, of course, is a very famous inequality. It is a huge family of inequalities, in fact. So uh, the history begin, began even before that, but one of the most famous paper of Hardy is published in 1920 uh, on a problem of Hilbert, the name. Uh, and he proved uh, this inequality uh, when he tried to, to think about the problem uh, in discrete situation. And uh, now we uh, more generally we call uh, this type of inequalities uh, as hard inequality with some weight uh, V and W and uh, some integral of the gradient or uh, higher order differential. And we try to bound uh, the integral of u. So uh, there are a lot of uh, names also for, for different names for high type inequalities. For example, in geometry, they are often called uh, weighted Brangahe inequality or Hardy Brangahe inequality. Okay. So the, the hard inequalities, of course, play very important roles in analysis and geometry. Uh, we know that there is a really very, very huge literature in, in, on this type of inequalities. Uh, in this talk, of course, I cannot uh, talk about many of them. Uh, for example, for, even for the important inequalities, Proved by uh, Professor Marcus or Ping Chauver here present. I, I'm sorry that I could not <laughs> talk about them. And for interested uh, people, uh, there are several books. For example, the, the classical book of Mazia, Soblev Spaces, or the more recent book of Gusub Moradifan, uh, where they talked about the basic appeal that I will explain later or uh, a last book is of Uransky and uh, Subhuragan, where they talked about uh, the inequalities on uh, homogeneous groups. So uh, here we will show a very few examples of some well-known first order uh, high inequalities. The, the most famous one perhaps is the following with the Hannon type potential. And we know that the n minus two minus, uh, minus alpha a square over four is the best constant. And uh, we can see that uh, this is the inequality uh, has not many meaning if alpha is equal to n minus two, uh, uh, effectively, for example, for alpha equal to zero and uh, in, dimension, in dimension two. And uh, in Lurie's uh, famous uh, paper in 1934, uh, uh, he proved the, the, the following somehow uh, dimension two uh, high type inequalities. Well, we need to add, uh, we need to take a, a, a smaller potential uh, near the origin. Okay, in uh, geometry also, there are many uh, weighted uh, inequality or hardy type inequalities. One famous example um, is the proof, uh, is the formula given by Gilles uh, Carton in 97. He proved that uh, 
with suitable conditions on row, for example, we can think about the row somehow like the geodesic distance. So, uh, and the suitable conditions, and if the zero set of row is compact with a, a zero capacity, then uh, we can also put this kind of uh, hard inequality zone complete Riemannian manifold. Here, the non-parabolic means just the existence of uh, positive green functions. Okay, so here are some uh, a few examples of well-known first order hard inequalities. In fact, there is also another a type of uh, uh, approach to get a hard inequalities. Uh, we can try to get them uh, via equalities uh, for the classical hard inequality. Uh, there are, we can find, uh, for example, in the work of Bobo Zoni, who get the case of Bulos. They prove the, uh, they can prove them uh, via equalities. Okay, so with a small transformation, we can prove uh, easily these kind of equalities. So we see that we can get uh, clearly the, the Hardy inequalities using that. And using that, we see also that we cannot uh, get the equality without the last term uh, with non-trivial function u. So uh, this is uh, some equalities for hard inequalities. And uh, there is also a radio version uh, for the above equalities. Well, we just uh, change the gradient by the radio derivative. It means that the, we take uh, x over r uh, uh, scale product with the gradient u. So, Somehow we consider only the radio derivative or the directional derivative in the direction of the radius. And uh, we can prove it also uh, not very difficult. And the above inequality was uh, given, uh, I think, first time by Brazis uh, Vasquez in their paper of 97. And in that paper, they called uh, it just a magical computation. And uh, using combining with the Schwarz uh, symmetrization argument, uh, they can prove the following uh, improved hard inequalities. Well, the remainder term uh, is given somehow uh, uh, explicitly and using the first uh, eigenvalue of minus lap fashion in dimension two because in the calculations, we can find that there is somehow a dimension reduction, uh, which gives a term like uh, u prime r uh, square r dr. So it is uh, somehow the Dirichlet energy in dimension two. So the, the, the paper of uh, Berzis Vasquez uh, has uh, uh, interested a lot of uh, research and uh, there are many, many, many works who have followed their approach and they try to get uh, some remaining terms. Oh, and more and more uh, in general for the hard inequalities. So uh, this is a, a, a different uh, approach of uh, hard inequalities. And uh, another one is the uh, basal pairs uh, introduced by Kusubu Moradi Fan uh, 10 years ago. Uh, and uh, they consider two uh, positive radio functions and they find the following equivalence. One is that uh, we have a positive solution, uh, Y. Here I just write for interval zero one because uh, by scaling, of course, the same result uh, hold for in general interval. And if we have a, a positive solution for, for the following ODE, uh, then we get uh, a corresponding uh, hard inequalities. 
and uh, uh, the inverse is also true. Here, the, the best choice for the beta is just the supermom of C, uh, such that we can find a positive solution uh, Y for the corresponding OD. So this, uh, and also their approach uh, has uh, solicited uh, many, many researchers uh, who have followed uh, somehow their ideas. Uh, but here we see that uh, uh, there is a restriction that they, they use just a radio weight as the V and the W. So with my uh, colleague, uh, Xia Huang, we, we have tried to consider uh, the, the revisit somehow the first of all the colleges. Uh, uh, the question we ask is if we can get uh, uh, many other hard inequalities via equalities, because the equalities uh, somehow present uh, optimal result since we do not lose or forget anything in the remainder term. Okay, and uh, otherwise we would like to uh, see if the same ideas could work for uh, more general situations, for example, for a multipolar potential situation or in some other uh, situation uh, some, in some situations, either like the Euclidean space, um, for example, hyperbolic disk or Heisenberg group, etc. And uh, at last, uh, we want to understand if this kind of approach can also be used for, for high order. So, for high order hard inequalities, uh, in general, we call hard relief inequalities because. It is somehow first uh, for the first time in, um, given by Rolisher in his talk at the ICM. Okay, so this is the main uh, ideas or concerns of our approach. So, in fact, uh, we, we find that most uh, uh, first order hard inequalities uh, are just a, a simple consequence of the inequalities. And uh, uh, we begin with a general but a very simple equality. The equalities, uh, so to be general, we put it on a linear manifold, for example. We, we take a, a potential V and uh, a family of a inner product but not uh, always that given by the metric G. And we give also a ve uh, vector field F. Then we have the following uh, equalities, okay? So we see that if V is uh, non-active and uh, uh, we get immediately the inequalities, uh, because the highly type inequality is W, given by the divergence of F minus V, the norm of F square. So, uh, because the last term is just a positive, it's non-negative, in fact, okay? So uh, here, the, the grading uh, or the volume form are that given by the metric G and uh, the, the norm uh, is that associated to the inner product? And divergence is that uh, is the real operator with respect to the inner product and the, the metric G. Okay. So uh, the 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 proof of the formula is just uh, <laughs> an elementary calculus because we just need to develop uh, the last term, uh, then we have degrade in u square uh, plus uh, v uh, u square uh, norm of f square. And uh, the mixed term, uh, we remark it is, it is just uh, the f in the product with grading u square over two. And then we made the integration by parts. So the, the, the proof of the equality is just uh, a very, very 
uh, simple and elementary. And now if we take, uh, for example, the, the vector field, there's a gradient vector field, like a gradient uh, log f with f positive. And then we can find a, a w uh, more in the spirit of PDE. So it is divergence v grade f over f. And the last term, we can also change a little bit to write it in a better way. So it gives the formula one here. And if more, uh, in more particular case, if we take V equal to one, and the inner product is just a Z of the max G, then the W is just a minus uh, uh, Laplacian F over F. Of course, the, the Laplace um, Beltrami operator with respect to the metric. Okay, so uh, we see that we, we can get uh, uh, very easily uh, somehow with the hard first of all, the hard inequality with that equality. We should say that this approach is not, uh, is not new at all. In fact, uh, the similar ideas have been used a lot of times in many, many previous works. Uh, for example, in the paper of the Philippe Asiatic case and the Didi in, in James, uh, where they consider some inequality on the cone space, uh, cone, cone like uh, regions. Okay, but uh, we think that we, we just want to point out this approach is, is a very general and um, universal ideas which can be used in many, many situations. Okay, so uh, as we have uh, uh, remarked, first, uh, this approach is very uh, simple. Uh, secondly, we can remark uh, easily the condition of uh, generability, because for example, for the formula one, uh, we see that if V is positive, uh, then to have the equality, we need to uh, take U equal to F. So with the choice of F, we can see that if we can take uh, the U to have the equality in the, in the suitable, in the considered or involved, a functional space. And in the case where we cannot have the equality, uh, then we can think about uh, of the optimality of the inequality. And also with the equality, we know that we need to take some u very approximately to be f. So in, in, in general, we need to just some uh, approximations, right? To, to, to get some suitable uh, sequence to, to prove that the, what we obtain is the optimal constant or optimal potential. Okay. Uh, we'll, here we will come back to the uh, classical examples we have mentioned, and we can see that all of them uh, can be obtained in that spirit. For example, uh, uh, if we take just the f to uh, norm of x uh, with the suitable power, and the uh, v is just given by what we want as potential of, uh, on the left hand side, and uh, by the direct calculation, so we get the w, which gives us just the optimal hard inequalities. And uh, uh, here for simplicity, we, we always take uh, test functions out of the uh, eventual singularity of the potential, but we know that with uh, uh, capacity argument or approximation theory, uh, so with a suitable alpha, for example, when alpha is less than n, we can generalize the inequality uh, to more a uh, larger functional space, for example, uh, in some weighted uh, Sobolev space. So this is for the classical Hardy inequality. We have mentioned also the Leray inequality. 
In fact, uh, there is a work of Zhu Qiang Wang and uh, William uh, who have generalized the inequality of the ray. Uh, they used uh, other type of analysis. Uh, of, and here we can get them also very easily uh, with a suitable choose of uh, function f. And uh, uh, we just need to add some log x, uh, norm of x, uh, power one half, and the direct calculations will give us exactly the, 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 the optimal w. Okay, so this is the for the Lorry type inequality. We have mentioned also Car Caron's inequality. Uh, in fact, uh, his proof is not uh, uh, exactly presented in that way, but it is just equivalent to that. Uh, if we take F rho equal to a suitable power of rho, and uh, with the calculus of uh, minus Laplacian of F, and we can prove immediately that it is bigger than say C minus one square over four rho square. So it gives uh, the, the a suitable uh, inequality out of the singularity. And then with the capacity condition, uh, we can generalize it to more general functions. Oh, so this is for Caron's inequality. And if we look at the Gusub and the Moradi funds, based on our power equation, in fact, we can, we can just uh, uh, remark that uh, their ODE uh, is the presentation of the uh, PDE minus diverges V gradient F equal to CWF. So somehow uh, the, the basic pair approach uh, is also a particular case of uh, the general approach with uh, the V and the uh, W. So uh, the the difference perhaps between uh, the approaches here and the uh, uh, Gusuba Moratti firm's approach, uh, somehow they uh, prescribed the V and the W, and they are trying to find the optimal C. So uh, then they try to calculate or prove the, the existence of positive solutions. E. And here our idea is uh, we, the V is given, okay, by the desired hard inequalities. And uh, we try to find some suitable function F here. We, we just uh, use the F, of course, in more general case, we try to find a suitable uh, vector field uh, F. Which, which is not necessarily a gradient vector field. And then by the calculus, we get uh, the corresponding W. And then we try to optimize, uh, for example, the constant or something with the sequel mm -hmm. W. So the calculations uh, uh, is in the choice of, of F and then we get the corresponding W. So somehow also it is easier than to try to find uh, the function W, uh, the function F, uh, positive solution to the OD. Okay, so uh, it means that uh, this uh, approach can, can be used to refine a lot of uh, well-known results. Of course, we would like to find some <laughs> New examples uh, to 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 give more significance or re relevance to this approach. Can get something new. Okay, so I will present some uh, examples of new inequalities, uh, which can be obtained uh, easily by that way. The first example is for the multipolar uh, potential case. Uh, it means that we give, uh, for example, m disjoint points in n, and uh, we want to prove a kind of 
uh, inequalities, but now is the potential uh, with the uh, is a some recombination of one over R i square, and the R i is just the distance of x with the point a i. So we can prove, in fact, uh, using uh, a vector field f like a linear combination of x minus a i over r i, and we just calculate and we can get these uh, two inequalities. Suitable choice. Uh, these uh, inequalities are uh, 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 some special cases were fine. For example, the first inequality uh, improves the result of fairly McKinney and De Hatzin, uh, in uh, 15 years ago. Uh, well, they have the first two terms, but not the red one. So here we can add a, a, a remainder term, a, a big remainder term. And they have proved also uh, the, 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 the necessary condition to have this kind of inequality, even without the red part, is that the sum of lambda i is less or equal to n minus two over four. And this can be understood when the ai are very nearby. For example, uh, we know that for a single point, the best constant is n minus two a square over four. Okay. Uh, so in the uh, for the second inequality, uh, the 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 special case was also proved by Kazaku uh, Zwazwa. They have proved the second inequality with all the lambda i are the same. So here we can take a very general and different lambda i. And for the first inequality with the red part. Uh, it was also proved by both Cidobo and Esteban, but with all the lambda i are the same. In fact, the, the, uh, the proof of uh, both Cidobo, Esteban, uh, Kazaku, Zwazwa are almost uh, uh, somehow exactly the same idea by choosing a suitable uh, vector field F but uh, they just uh, used uh, the a very symmetric uh, vector field. And uh, by choosing another uh, more general vector field, we can get this result. Okay, so this is our first example. Uh, second example is uh, uh, in the example uh, in the study of uh, heat equations, uh, the height inequality with the weight of kx here uh, play uh, some important roles in the study in the space. So, and uh, we use our approach, we can prove the following uh, inequalities. And uh, in fact, uh, these inequalities improve the result in the paper of uh, Escobedo and Cavion, where they do not have the last uh, term. They, they uh, not uh, they put the inequality without the red part. So and we uh, we can also remark that uh, somehow if we take kx as a measure, so the, the weight is just the classical uh, hard inequality weight. So let's take a look of the proof. The proof is not uh, very difficult. So as we want to get uh, in the previous uh, hard inequality, of course, the V is just the K, it is fixed. So we take a F alpha X, we imagine that it is somehow uh, power of X, but, but with a weight uh, exponential alpha non X squared. And then we calculate the corresponding W. So we get uh, a direct calculations. And if we take alpha equal to minus one, uh, one over eight, uh, we get the above inequality. So the proof is really very, very uh, direct. And the, of course, here we have a here we have a choice of alpha. So if we take a, a different choice, for example, if we take alpha equal to minus one a quarter, 
uh, we just find uh, an inequality uh, in the paper of Vasquez and Rosner. So uh, somehow it means that uh, following the question or, or what we want uh, um, by choosing different uh, parameters, we can get uh, perhaps uh, what we need as uh, suitable inequalities. So this is a, a second uh, example. Uh, uh, a third example uh, is an uh, uh, hard, uh, hard inequality used by um, Blanche Montfort uh, uh, Dolbeau, uh, sorry for his name, Grillo uh, Vasquez. They studied uh, a fast diffusion equation. And uh, in the study, they used the entropy estimate. And they show that uh, uh, the, the, the best constant of the following inequality, the best C, uh, will give just the optimal uh, decay for the entropy estimate. So uh, they were interested uh, in finding the, the, the best constant in these hard inequalities with uh, some, uh, the weight here is no longer homogeneous. So it is more difficult to find the best. So the best constant uh, was known uh, for alpha uh, negative and for alpha bigger than two minus n over two because this is for the integrability. We cannot uh, take alpha. Okay. So, and, but it is completely open for alpha positive, except for a special case when alpha is equal to n. In, in, in another work, when alpha is equal to n, they have given the best constant. And so Gusub and Moradi from uh, using the Vesel Pell uh, approach, uh, they can prove that the C alpha n is less than and plus two alpha minus two square over four. And in their book, they asked the open question also, uh, what, uh, what, is, uh, what are the best constant for the above hard inequality? And uh, with uh, Wang Xia, we have a complete answer here. So uh, uh, since in fact we find uh, a critical value, which is uh, alpha n plus two over two, and then we can give the best constant in each case. Okay, again, the proof is not a very, uh, very difficult. We, of course, the V is just uh, what we need, and we try to understand the, the involved W by taking F equal to one plus uh, R2. Uh, power gamma. Of course, we need uh, some, some analysis, but not uh, a very difficult analysis. And uh, for the, for example, in the case when alpha is bigger than uh, n plus two over two, uh, if we choose gamma equal to one minus alpha, we can get immediately the W. And in that case, because alpha is big, so we can remark that the, 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 the involved uh, energy term F square uh, or for the Dirichlet, uh, inter, uh, Dirichlet energy in the weighted space is just in L1. So somehow it is just the uh, weighted surface space used by uh, and Dolbo and uh, his collaborators. And uh, it means that uh, by density, we can generalize uh, to that case. And uh, that's why we can prove uh, the best constant is just the two alpha minus one uh, n. Okay, so it is, uh, it is uh, some examples of what we can do with uh, this simple approach. And uh, 
of course, it, it works uh, with various uh, space or uh, measures or many, many examples of all the examples by basic appeal uh, can particular cases for them. Uh, here is uh, another example, uh, another two examples. Uh, in the work of Brock um, Chachio and uh, Max uh, Mercado, they used the following inequalities to prove some weighted is isoperimetric inequalities in cone. So uh, the proof was not exactly as what we did, but uh, again, somehow it is equivalent uh, to that. Here we have uh, uh, the the v given also by by the by the measure because it is a weight, and then we test the suitable functions and we can prove exactly the same thing. And we have also some other example uh, for the uh, to improve the age type inequalities uh, or some many many other situations. So. This is for the first order hard inequalities. And uh, yeah, last word is that uh, uh, using one's Young's inequality, the, the, the same ideas works also for the general LP setting. Well, the, for example, the minus Lagrangian or, or divergence V grading uh, F over F uh, will be replaced by the corresponding uh, P Laplacian. Same thing works. So now we, of course, the next objective is to look at the higher order case, okay? Uh, what we call the Hardy Relish inequalities. One of the fame, uh, most famous uh, Relish inequality uh, is this one the best constant known also. And uh, another one is the, mm, uh, the, the inequality between Laplace and U and the gradient U. And uh, there are also a huge literature on that, for example, with the important paper of the case and the uh, Pulos, they, they, they showed uh, many, many high order inequalities with remainder terms uh, using the method. Okay, so our question is that, can we find uh, high derivation inequalities also by some equality? Is that possible? In fact, uh, uh, there is a, uh, a work of uh, three Japanese mathematicians several years ago. Uh, our departure point is also that uh, we have uh, heard once uh, a talk of Professor Ozawa in Shanghai at YU, uh, where he, he just uh, even in detail the proof of the two equalities. And uh, uh, we can see that uh, via the two uh, equalities, of course, we get the classic uh, hard inequalities with the alpha equal to zero. And so what we want to do is, uh, can, we, can we try to get something uh, for, for general cases or at least uh, in a Euclidean space, right? Okay, so, do, so we think about uh, how, how, how to generalize it. For any alpha, we take the, the, the T alpha as before, and we take the weighted norm. And uh, by integration by parts, it's not difficult to, do, to prove a, a several elementary uh, relation for, the, for this operator T alpha. Okay. Uh, for example, these two equalities. And uh, uh, then we have tried to refine the, the result of the uh, Japanese uh, colleagues. And now we find that it is uh, very, very easy because the Laplacian R, the, the radial Laplacian is just the T minus N. So 
we use uh, first time the, uh, the equality, and uh, then we have also the first order uh, hard inequality, uh, equalities for with the radial distribution. So we arrive immediately at this uh, at this uh, uh, equality, which is just the equivalent to the equality proved by the Japanese uh, colleague, uh, but presented in a different way. So uh, here we uh, remark that we can somehow write the uh, high order of rate as composition of the first order uh, operator. So this gives us an idea how to proceed for general situation. So here is the result. So uh, it is just by induction. And uh, if we look at the operator T alpha, the family of operator R alpha K, then we can prove the following equalities. Uh, the important is to remark that with the iteration uh, or with the iterative method, all the constants uh, are positive or non-negative. So we can uh, really uh, get the Hardy inequality. And uh, of course we have many, many terms, but uh, it works. Uh, so however it, uh, so. So this is a first uh, Hardy relation equality. And uh, also, in fact, we can also write, uh, of course, which more involved terms, uh, Hardy relish equalities with the four Cushing RL. So this is, uh, uh, and uh, as byproduct, we can, of course, uh, deduce the classical Hardy inequalities. And so this is almost the, the end of my talk. Uh, uh, so the main idea is that we, we, we propose to derive uh, many well-known or new hardy relation inequalities via the equalities and uh, by iterations. Uh, and by that approach, we can obtain quickly uh, most classical inequalities and uh, we can see easily the non attainability in, in general case, and also we can improve many of results. And this approach uh, works also in, in general setting for the multipolar potential or many other examples, as we can see. And uh, there is also a point uh, because, uh, which is uh, somehow interesting, we can also extend the notion of base L pair uh, to high order. And here we see that uh, as for many polyharmonic uh, equations, um, here we need uh, somehow the, the, the super uh, higher order polyharmonic properties. In fact, we need the uh, intermediate Laplace of K uh, are non-negative uh, or positive. I think we need to uh, have positive uh, to get that. So uh, this is uh, somehow, uh, and uh, again, we need not uh, consider only the radial case. And the uh, uh, last point is uh, uh, very gen uh, recently, uh, we see a paper of uh, 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 in the archive uh, where the people try to get the best constant for relation inequalities on, uh, in the discrete case uh, on, the, on N. And uh, they proposed some results, but uh, uh, which are not the optimal one. And with our approach, we can, we can adapt it for the discrete situation and we can get uh, inf effectively the best constants uh, for the relation inequality of any order on N uh, for, for integral order. But uh, really we don't know if it is a, a really a true uh, new result. 
Okay, I think I will stop here. <laughs> Many thanks. For